Setting a price. An object value is not something fixed, but instead a subjective property of the object. This subjectivity may be a bit surprising. It is easy to imagine that something must have an objective worth being bought and sold. However, this is not the case. In fact, it's the opposite. When somebody has an item to sell, he puts a value on this item and will not sell under that value. Likewise, when somebody wants to buy something, he will put a value on the object and will not pay more than this. If these valuations overlap so that the buyer's valuation is higher than the seller's valuation, the object will be sold. If the seller's valuation is higher than the buyer's, the buyer will simply say it's not worth it, or the seller will say it's worth more than that, and no deal will be made. Of course, you don't haggle about price every time you buy a candy bar, but you still agree on a price. It's just that the store owner has put up a sign with a price, and you can either accept it or reject it. Neither you nor him want to hang haggle about something that just costs 80 cents because it's simply not worth the effort. So even though haggling is not a necessary part of the pricing, both the buyer and seller agrees on the price and both think they are better off after the exchange. Think about this. If you would think you would be worse off after buying something, would you buy it? Of course not. So buying and selling is an act done by free will. Unless, of course, somebody is pointing a gun at you, but then it's not buying and selling, but stealing. Now we know that the price ends up somewhere between the seller's valuation of the item and the buyer's valuation of the item. The question of what the price of an item will be, therefore, depends on these valuations. What, then, will these valuations depend on? So as you see, if an object has an intrinsic objective worth and both seller and buyer are aware of it, the buyer's and seller's valuation of the object would never overlap and no deal would ever be cut because the seller would never get more than what he thought the object was worth and the buyer would never be able to pay less and hence nobody would ever sell or buy anything. The subjectiveness of value is necessary for things to be sold and bought at all.